Hey, Rob from Order 42 here, and yeah, let's talk about the snowstorm of February 2021 in Texas. Yeah, so I will say that um, I, look, I'm okay. Everybody that's, that's there's been uh, quite a few people, which is kind of cool, asking me how things are going, asking me if everything's okay, asking me if I have everything I need. We're, we're, we're good. We're good here. Um, but real quick, I'll just kind of go into, for those of you who don't know, maybe in other parts of the country, maybe you're not, you're not aware or I don't know. Firsthand, um, I am was one of the people that... Um, which this happened Monday night, you know, so the, the snowstorm had, you know, it started, the snow had started in, I think on Saturday and then into Sunday. And then, um, on Monday, everything was fine. Every, I mean, power was on. We were just kind of like, yeah, everything's, everything's going okay. Our water's running. Everything was, was fine. Um, I even did uh, on Monday, I did a quick, uh, fun little arcade stream over with, uh, with Leon, uh, over on his channel. So, so yeah, everything was, was good. I recorded a video, everything was fine. And then we got notice from the city of Fort Worth that their water treatment plant had lost power, which meant we were going to lose water. So the first, I mean, that kind of spurned, uh, my wife and I into, into action because we were kind of like, okay, um, this is going to be, this is going to be rough. So we have a water treatment unit. Um, it's a water softener because the water in Fort Worth is, it's crazy. It's hard water. So it kind of, it can do some, I don't know if it's because of the minerals in it or whatever, but it can, it can like turn your concrete, like a rust color and all those kinds of weird things. So we got this water softener unit shortly after we moved in years ago, 10, 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Um, and then we have a water filtration unit under our sink you know, same, same system runs in there and it allows, uh, you know, it's basically super clean water. It's awesome. It's really, really good, really, really good stuff. Um, I don't know where, <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. <clears throat> so we had already been in the habit of, we fill up these huge, basically four or five gallon jugs, um, to put in our fridge. So that's where we get our water from. That's where we drink our water. Those were already full. Um, so we get this notice and they're like, okay, so any water you can get, you need to boil it first because there might be bacteria in it. Okay. So we start that process. Then we're like, no running water means we can't, we can't flush our toilets. <laughs> so it was like, okay, we don't want to use our drinking water because we don't know how long this is going to last. Let's melt snow. So we were melting snow to fill up our toilet so we could flush the toilet. Um, which was actually, I gotta be honest, it was actually kind of fun the first 12 hours or so. Then it was like, okay, this sucks. <laughs> this really is getting old and it's cold and all that kind of stuff. But luckily we had power this whole time. Um, find, come to find out we must be on the same grid as the hospital across the street from our neighborhood. So we never lost power the whole time. We were thinking we were planning for it. It's like, oh, any day now or any minute now we're going to lose power. So yeah, we must have been on that same grid and which was again, a blessing. Let's, let's be honest here. I'm lucky. Then, um, with the whole water thing, we were kind of, like I said, we were worried about running out of drinking water. We still haven't run out. Um, and the, cause this is what Thursday, today's Thursday, right? All the days are running together. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to figure out, you know, when is the water going to get turned back on? City of Fort Worth hasn't really been super forthcoming with their information. And I, so I texted my neighbor lives next door. I'm like, Hey, um, do you have running water? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So that means that the pipes coming in from the street, that go into our water softener in, in our garage and then back out to the house. Something there is frozen because every time we've had this in the past, every time there's been a hard freeze, if we have a problem, that's where it is. So that's what we did is I got bundled up. It was like four degrees outside, got bundled up, you know, the toboggan and the, I mean, everything, the whole, whole thing went out there and it took about 30 minutes of me warming up the, the pipes with a hairdryer. 
And right before all this happened, I had recently um, sort of done a better job of winterizing it. So actually got like elbowed insulation, you know, that would cover those pipes. So I thought there's no way this time. There's no way. Of course, it's been below zero here. Um, so yeah, it definitely froze. But yeah, after about 30 minutes, the water started, the toilet started filling up, you know, the, the, all the water was working. Our hot water heater was fine. We were very, very lucky. So the only issue that we had is really is poor internet. So hopefully I can get this, this video uploaded. Yesterday's video took a while to actually upload. Um, I was real worried. I, I know that this is probably a thing that nobody cares about, but I was worried because of the, all the power outages that we kept hearing about. I was worried about doing any, any kind of editing or anything like that on, on my computer because I didn't want my computer to shut down and get fried, you know, um, never had to worry about it. Um, it's one thing that, like I said, I know that the worst thing that we had to deal with is we had to melt snow to flush our toilets. That was it. Everything else we were fine. Um, so yeah, we're still boiling water. Um, just so we can drink it, but it's coming through our filtration unit. So it's probably fine anyway, but we're boiling it just to be safe. Um, we're good. So there's plenty of people in Texas that have had, I mean, had it way worse than we did. You know, my, my dad actually had, uh, his power got shut off, but he was, he was boiling water just to warm the house. And he said, he said, yeah, it, it got in the fifties in the house, which is pretty cold. But he started boiling water and it got it at 68. And that's what we have our heater on is 68 right now. Um, just to, I guess, sort of, in a way, do our part about conserving electricity. But seriously, we've had no issues here. Um, so I'm, look, we're, we're very, very lucky that, that, it wasn't, uh, that it wasn't worse. And that I feel for all those people that, you know, still don't have running water at this point, still don't have uh, power. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy, but we got through it, you know? So, I like I said, I want to thank everybody that's reached out and asked if, if we were okay. And, I mean, gosh, Billy even said, hey, do you need me to come bring you some water bottles? And I was like, dude, no, thank you, but no, we're okay. Um, I mean, it really means a lot. There's a lot of people asking. And, of course, somebody was asking, uh, some people were asking when my next stream was. So I will say that my next stream will probably be, hopefully, tomorrow night. That is, if the internet stays on. The, the whole issue is that it's it's weird. It's like it, I think it's just because there's so many people at home right now in the area. Uh, that's got to be what it is. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, our internet's been very spotty, so I don't know when the next stream will be. Um, but I will let you guys know on the, the, on the Twitter uh, the Twitter account. Um, so if you follow there, you know, you can see, um, but, but yeah, like I said, we're okay. And, uh, thank you all for, for, for caring, you know, and asking, reaching out and, and, uh, and asking about it. We're good. So thank you guys for watching this. If you got this far, sorry if I was boring. Um, but, uh, thank you all. And, uh, we'll see you as soon as